Hey everyone, Julia from Sunday Sounds here. In this video, we're going to take a look at our song specific patch designed in the style of the song you see on the screen. I'm going to demonstrate this song patch in its original key and at its original tempo. You can change the key you play or hear the song patch in by using Easy Transpose, and you can change the tempo as well. Details on how to adjust both the key and the tempo are included in your download. For this video, I'll be demonstrating the main stage version of this song specific patch. If you purchase the Ableton Live version, you'll be able to use this video to follow along just the same, seeing as the hand positions, song sections, layer ranges, and sound of the patch are the same. In main stage, you'll use your mod wheel to move through the various song sections. In Ableton, you'll use the macro knob labeled song section. Be sure to check out the full demo video for this song patch to see all the parts and sections in order and how we move the song section control throughout the song. This patch has piano, pads, arps, and bass all triggered in the left hand range, which stretches from here, up to here. Your right hand will play chords in this mid range of the keyboard, from here, up to this note. From here and up, there's a bell sound. When the song section control is at two thirds or above, you'll also have a string and some synth sounds up high as well. You'll start the song with the song section control all the way down for your verses and your down chorus. At one third will be the intro and the regular chorus. At two thirds will be your turnaround and your medium verse. And all the way up will be the big chorus, bridge and the outro. Remember that whether you're in main stage or Ableton Live, these positions are the same. For the intro, you'll have the song section control at one third. You'll play octaves in your left hand, and you'll play a bell lead up high in your right hand. Here's what that sounds like. This intro comes back later in the song as a turnaround, and again as the outro. For the first time you play the turnaround, you'll have the song section control at two thirds. You'll play octaves in your left hand and that same bell lead in your right hand. The second time you play the turnaround, you're gonna to wanna to play it with the song section control all the way up. And you'll play everything the same way. Same goes for the outro. You'll have the song section control all the way up and you'll play everything the exact same way. For the down verse, you'll have the song section control all the way down. You'll play single notes in the high octave of your left hand and chords in your right hand. Then halfway through this verse, you'll add the low octave of your left hand. So here's how I like to voice these right hand chords. For the medium verse, you'll have the song section control at two thirds. You'll start by playing octaves in your left hand and you'll play chords in your right hand. I like to voice these chords the same way as the previous verse. And do note that this verse is shorter than the previous verse. For your first chorus, you'll have the song section control at one third. You'll play octaves in your left hand and chords and an octave lead in your right hand. Here's the octave lead. Mm -hmm. 
And this is played at the end of every other line. So whenever you're not playing that, I like to add in chords in my right hand down in this range. Here's the first few lines for context. For the big chorus, you'll have the song section control all the way up. You'll play octaves in your left hand and that same octave lead in your right hand. At the very end of the song, there's two choruses back to back. The first one is the down chorus, and for that, your song section control will be all the way down. You'll play octaves in your left hand and just chords in your right hand. Then at the end of that chorus, you move the song section control all the way up pretty quickly. You'll play octaves in your left hand and that same lead line in your right hand. you'll have the song section control all the way up. You'll play octaves in your left hand and chords in your right hand. The first time you play through the bridge, you'll want to drop out the lowest octave of your left hand on every other beat, sounding like this. Then the second time through the bridge, you'll play full octaves throughout the entire section. For the right hand chords, you can voice these chords the same way as before, or you can change it up if you'd like. Just remember that from this note up, there are some synth sounds and bell sounds. So you have from here to here. Be sure to check out the demo to see how we move the song section control throughout the song. Song specific patches work best in the Sunday Keys template for Mainstage and Ableton Live. Sunday Keys gives you all the sounds and tools you need to play live worship keys, and all of our song-specific patches integrate seamlessly with Sunday Keys. You can learn all about Sunday Keys for Mainstage and Ableton Live on our website. Thanks for checking out this song-specific patch. I'm Julia with Sunday Sounds, and I'll see you next time.